These engineers are testing compressors. It looks routine, but what's happening here could change the way we use cleaner energy worldwide. Wind and solar power can only produce energy when there's wind and sun. One answer is to store the excess produced in good times and feed it back into the grid when needed. Compressed air generators could be the solution, but compressing air creates a lot of heat, and with heat, you lose energy. Here, in Berkeley, California, they have found a revolutionary response, using a fine mist of water while compressing the air. Light cell energy say their system makes compressed air energy storage nearly twice as efficient. This project excites me because we're at the cusp of something great. But eventually, we can scale this to a residential scale system. It can provide all of your energy needs, um, the energy storage, backup, and also heat and cooling. It's a simple idea. At times of excess energy supply, the system draws power from the grid and converts it into compressed energy and heat. The water mist cools down the air while it's being stored. When the energy is needed, the compressed air and heat are turned back into electricity. And this is where the magic happens. This is our air compression and air expansion cylinder. We also have uh, water injection. Uh, water travels through here and is sprayed in through these rings. And then uh, air comes from this low pressure side and goes into this high pressure side during compression and during expansion it goes the other way around. Then power comes out of the cylinder through the crankcase and out to the motor generator, which then turns into AC power to power your home or anything else you need. The aim? To store renewable energy effectively and efficiently, a breakthrough in what's been a problem up until now. The ultimate goal? To apply the technology to grids worldwide, especially where they are less advanced or in isolated places that are dependent on diesel generators and other local sources. Danielle and her colleagues have a truly global vision, and it's in the air that's free and everywhere.